What is up everyone, my name is Odinson, and this is Modded Minecraft. Uh, Direwolf 20 1.19 pack, uh, episode 57 of our Let's Play series. And I has been doing things, now I have an inventory full of speed upgrades, but we'll get to that. So, off camera, um, I'll show you what I did, down to mechanism. Oh, it's an end the top. Cool. He doesn't attack you if you stare at him. It does look kind of sad. To be honest. One. Oh, there's two. What is going on? Okay. Uh, lol. This thing is full of stuff. Huh. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. Um... <laughs> Ender tots are not happy. All right. Hey, dude. Hey! Seriously? What the hell? Okay, I was wrong. All right. So, if we take a look in our E2 section here. Now, I expanded our molecular assembler. We've now got 16 of these pattern terminals in here. So we're misshapen, sort of. Oh no, we're actually symmetrical now, which is good. But we've still got room for a, a whole lot of more. Like we could double the size of this if we really, really wanted to, but I would probably just come out lengthways rather than up because we haven't got the room. But um, anyway, so we did that because we were running out of space and then I proceed here to fill it all back up again so we've got some of the turbine stuff in here already from mechanism for our turbine over at our um, fishing generator but oops one thing I did do is um, get the stuff together to make our big battery our induction matrix much bigger all the way up to a ultimate induction provider and an ultimate induction cell and I started the crafting and the crafting, auto crafting, um, took the best part of an hour. But it's one block that I'm going to show you now. Um, let's just throw that on the floor for a minute. <clears throat> because here it is. That is the only block I added, the ultimate induction cell back in there and that reforms I can pick back up here okay but what that does mean now and we're slowly losing power because the digital miner and there's lots of things running at the moment especially the digital miner um we haven't actually got much power at the moment and this is part of the problem now I thought like that big ass like reactor that we got would be sufficient it's downstairs isn't it but it really isn't. 4,000 FE per tick is not enough. Um, I'm going to have to let that build up everything in the meantime. But anyway, what this does mean now is our capacity is 1.6 trillion FE. So we've got more than enough battery space in here right now. What I am going to probably need to do is upgrade the, um, the ports that are behind here. Well, the port that is behind here but with that ultimate induction matrix uh, it matrix in there that holds most of the energy it took and i saw it in the crafting process 64 of the original induction matrix core things that we have there for that power storage that we had before 64 of them to make that so the auto crafting took a bit of time let's just say all right, so that's that. That's what uh, one thing I did off camera because it was an hour of auto crafting and it sucked. Um, I don't think I have anything crafting right now. No, that's good. All right, that's good. And the other thing I put into auto crafting was um, these, the uh, storage disks because we're using up a lot of space now with our mining. So, um, what I'm going to do is get a couple of them going to 
We are missing silicon. Uh, let's see if we can auto craft this. So that, that, the quartz. Oh God, this is becoming a problem. And then we can put that in redstone furnace. All right, can we do it now, please? Uh, we're going to do two. All right, and that's got all the stuff available. That might take a minute, but I'm going to leave that to uh, craft away. All right, <clears throat> so that's that done. Um, whilst that's going, we are going to... And this is why I've got all these speed upgrades, because now that this is running relatively okay, I mean, 165 buckets of fissile fuel. Yeah, this is all doing okay. What we want to do now is um, upgrade all this gear. Good. That's good about number four did we do all of these we did all of the pumps already all right that's good to know so i'm not going to need this many speed upgrades so um that can get a and we're just going to work our way down the line here But we are going to need to get the um, energy upgrades sooner rather than later just to uh, reduce the energy cost of this stuff. And that just gets everything working a little bit, well, a lot faster. Um, like 10 times faster. <laughs> okay. Good. Chemical oxidizer. Good. And finally, the isotopic centrifuge. Now, this is probably going to be running a whole lot faster now. Hmm. That's making uranium hexafluoride. Picking down. All right. Uh, that craft is done. Beautiful. The six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need forty four energy upgrades. You can put them speed away. All right, energy, you, 42, no, 4, 44 is 11, not 44, it's 88, there we go, right, so that's going to get started, uh, and then we can add a bit more storage. I feel a little bit more comfortable. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> All right, so these machines are now pumping out Fast enough for me to be comfortable, that's good. But it's these. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. I'm just gonna speed that along. 
Perfect. Does this have any upgrades? Yeah. That's max upgraded. Getting plenty of water. It's just slow. Okay, now it's doing the gold. Yep, making them. How much have I got in there? 24? Okay. Crazy how much this varies. Okay. Yeah, we are struggling for power right now. Oh yeah, we're not even building any. Ooh. Our battery is completely empty. All right. So it's just doing the gra glass and the gravel. Okay. At least that filled up my hunger. <clears throat> we really need to move them sheep at some point. It's really um, obnoxious at times. Oh, it's just making the glass. And then... Um, kind of wanted to put we've got 20 uranium in there but purification okay so that does work all right, um, so what we could do is create a pattern, because I don't think we've got a pattern for uranium. Uh, so where is it? Energy smelter. Not what we need, though. We need uranium clamps. This one. Turn that off. It's this one. Okay. Oh, God, I mean, that's not even right anyway. Nope. Or one, two. Right that. Yeah, we have to manually do these. And then the purification chamber. Oh, look at that. we got one more slot, which is perfect. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just... Um, no. Uh, two stacks, which means one stack of uranium. Perfect. Okay. And then we've got some fluorite somewhere. Yeah, there. Uh, coal. And then we're just waiting for the uranium. Okay. Good. That means the energy upgrades are done. Oh, 
All right, so we can head over to there once we sleep. It's nighttime and it's raining. All right, now we go through our chain again. Good. And these reduce the energy cost. Now that we're using max speed upgrades, it's um, going to be an issue if we don't reduce the energy usage. What we're doing here. And then last one. All right, so those machines are all fully upgraded now. For single machines anyway, we could turn them into factories, but that's it. Good, if we're storing some of that, that's fine. All right, let's see if our, um... uh, uh. Waiting on the last of the uranium. I only need two stacks when you're done. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> We've got plenty of yellow right all now, which is good. Yeah, that's the only thing with pulverizer gives two yellow orium dust. I mean, not bad. That's um, that and that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because yellowium can get turned into uranium too. All you do is you turn the yellowium in, get into a um nugget and it turns it into uranium nuggets not your Yelor nuggets and then you make the nuggets back into an ingot of uranium which is a ball lake <clears throat> it comes to yellowium <clears throat> Bunch of induction cases I've just seen what we've got a lot of reactor glass fishing fuel assembly obviously Nearly there. Whilst I'm waiting, I can just, um, Yeah, nice. Okay. Hold on. What was cooking down here? Huh. All right, one, two. All right, so let's go and see how quick that system is now. All right, so coal. Yeah. Oh, wrong. Facing the wrong way. I was like, what the hell's going on? Okay, that's pretty quick. Also got no power.
Okay. And then we put our uranium here. Literally no power. Are we filling back up machines? Is that what's going on here? They're all full. This is definitely running. Okay, so maybe it is our digital miner. Nope, that's just out of power. What is using up all the power? These? No, oh, they are full. But yeah, they're heating back up, but that can't be using all the power. That is out of lava. Mm hmm. Hundred and twenty forge energy per tick, so it's not that. Where is the output going there? Minecraft overworld. What is it? Twenty nine sixty six minus one eighty eight. Sixty six. Down, up, something over here. Twenty nine sixty six minus one eight eight. myself 
directly above here. Okay, so yeah, it's this. That's that's fine. The input's going in. Oh. One five eight, what's the sixty seven? One nine seven. Okay, so that's the um something here. Oh, This is sucking all my power. Creeper. You know blow up my stuff. All right, so this still uses more power than we can produce right now. Noted. They've all got energy upgrades, so... Whatever. Separates heavy water from regular water. Yep, we need more power. And that's what it boils down to. So that's done. They're done. You're running out of sulfur dioxide. That's not getting enough power. That's not getting enough power, but it's got sulfur trioxide now. That is full of hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide, but it's barely getting any power. That's done. That's done. Yeah, it's just taking a sweet ass time because obviously that's trying to fill up with uh, water vapor and that thing is using a ton. Whatever. put that on now because we've got fuel but all the warnings are on now <clears throat> that's got an absolute mountain of uranium hexafluoride in there so that's going to keep ticking that's going to keep ticking so is this. All right, let's um. We 
should let that run for a bit and um, end the episode there because we can't really do anything whilst that's ticking over because it's using all the power. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. So I'm going to let that tick away off, off camera, off episode, and then we'll get back and we'll start thinking about the actual turbine. So um, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, as always, please stay safe out there.